and welcome to my channel. Now before we get started, if you like the video, please leave a like or a comment as it will greatly help it reach more people. With the formalities out of the way, I am irrelevant, but Brigandine is not. Now what is Brigandine Legend of Runerzia? Developed by Matrix Software and published by Happy Net Games. Brigandine Legend of Runerzia is the newest installment in the Brigandine series. This is a hexagonal turn-based grand strategy series set in a fantasy world, and if you were a fan of the original game in the series, at least over 20 years ago, you should just go ahead and pick up the demo. Currently available on PS4 and Switch, it'll do you a great good. In the beginning of the game, you're given the ability to choose from one of the six nations when you start. The end goal is to capture all 41 bases and unify the continent. Depending on which nation you choose will dictate the way the story plays out, and there are over 100 knights to use in your armies, each with their own detailed backgrounds and storylines. The Brigandine series revolves around two phases, a grand strategy portion of the game known as the Organization Mode, where players will adjust equipment on units, reorganize troops and armies, send troops on quests, level up knights and monsters to the next class, or formulate strategies for complete conquest. The second phase is the Attacking Mode. These are the hex-based battles that play out over 41 different bases across the continent, and each consist up to three attackers, three defenders, and each country's knights can bring up to six monsters with them, the total number of troops on any given battle can be up to 48 units. Publisher Happy Net Games brought on developer Matrix Software as they were fans of the original game, and they even brought a copy of the original strategy guide with them when they first met about possibly making a new game. The music has been composed by Tempe Sato, who made the Disgaea music, as well as the original Brigandine music. The story in the script has been written by Final Fantasy writer for 1 through 3 Kenji Tirada, and the art has been done by the same guy who did the art for Xenoblade and Xenoblade Chronicles, Raita Kazama. Now grand strategy on consoles is a rare thing indeed, but the Brigandine formula is what has made this game a cult classic. Before being released in the summer of 2020 for the Nintendo Switch, I would find myself going back to the original Brigandine game on my PS1 every now and then. And now that it's out for the PS4, and it's even got an update with it, it's even more of a joy to play. Completing the game as a single nation can take around 30 hours, and after that there's a challenge mode where you can even take your favorite knights that you've unlocked and choose a leader to conquer with. Brigandine Legend of Renersia brings a lot of quality of life changes that the original was desperately needing, although at a cost. The game does not have multiplayer mode as the grand edition of the original game once had. The quality of life changes include things like being able to see unit HP easier, being able to discern which army a unit belongs to, having a much better item management than previous versions have ever had before, and now if you want to make the game easier or harder for yourself, you can customize your own campaign settings before you even start a game. If I had to give the game a score, I'd give Brigandine Legend of Runerzia a 9 out of 10. I've been playing the game so much since the update, throwing over 50 hours into three different campaigns. Fans of the old game will have a lot to look forward to with the quality of life updates, and the new story is set to beautifully drawn artwork. That's going to do it for my review of Burger 9 Legend of Renarzia. Let me know if you'll be picking up the game in the comments below, or if you already have the game, tell me who your favorite nation is. I've been irrelevant, you've been awesome, take it easy, and as always, peace.